So you're representing a buyer in a transaction. It's a great day. Nothing wrong with that because closing a deal with a buyer, representing a buyer, you're gonna earn a commission. And your livelihood, of course, is to close transactions, right? You're a real estate agent, go out and sell real estate. So let's assume you do represent a buyer and you find a beautiful house for them and you put them in escrow. Yeah, you put them in escrow. It's good to know what every single stage of the game means to you as a real estate agent. Don't you wanna know where you're at in the process? Don't you wanna know if you're almost at the finish line or nowhere near the finish line? Of course you do. So, what are we gonna do today, man? What we're gonna do today is this. We're gonna discuss the loan process from A to Z. What's involved in the loan process so that when the lender contacts you, the real estate agent, and they say we're at this stage, you know exactly what's going on you know how close you are to that finish line. Got it? Boom, let's start off with step one. Step one, of course, is the buyer walking into the office, walking into the lender's office, and say, hey lender, I wanna borrow some money, I wanna buy a house. And all that's done at the primary mortgage market, at the bank, right there, boom. Lender says, hey, buyer, how you doing? You want a cup of coffee? Yeah, I'll have a cup of coffee. They chit chat, have a cup of coffee. The buyer fills out the application. On that application, they're gonna have their employment history, how much they make, their financial status. Their, hopefully they'll give over their taxes for the last couple of years, the whole enchilada. Lender receives it. Lender says, thank you very much. I'll let you know where we are. Lender says, hey, based on what I have here, we verified that you are pre-approved for $1 million. Here's your pre-approved letters, the ticket to the dance, $1 million. Go find yourself a house. Buyer finds you, the real estate agent. You say, hey, you're pre-approved already. That's fantastic. Let's take this ticket, this pre-approval letter, and go find you a house for a million dollars or less. Makes sense, doesn't it? Well, now what? You do find them a house. You make an offer. Offer's accepted. You open escrow. Boom, bada beam, bada boom, it's a great day, you open escrow. What else do you want? But you wanna close a deal now, right? We're not done yet, the game just started. So, first thing I want you to do is I want you to inform the lender. Hey, lender, remember the lender? The one that gave that pre-approval letter? Yeah, let them know exactly what's going on. We got a house, we're in escrow. Lender says, fantastic, send me over all of the information to this property. Address, 1234 Main Street. And you do, you send them over the contract, as a matter of fact. That'd be smart, send them over the contract. They wanna know everything that's going on. Back to the process. Process number two. While this is going on, the lender, of course, is doing more research on the buyer. Making sure the buyer qualifies as solid as can be. But now that you have a property in mind, now that you have a property in escrow, now that we're officially in escrow, the lender has to approve the property. You see, it's pre-approval because uh, we haven't found a property yet. Now once the property is fully approved, now we have full approval. Next step, the lender wants to approve the property. They send out the appraiser, and the appraiser, of course, his job or her job is to go to the property and give their opinion on that day. So, an opinion of an appraiser on a specific date. So they go out there and they check out the house, and, and depending on the type of loan, they're gonna say, yeah, this house qualifies, it's worth at least a million bucks, sure. Appraiser's gonna go home and put all his uh, evaluations on, the, on document, and that document is called an appraisal report. Obviously, that appraisal report is given over to the lender. So far, so good. Well, you as a real estate agent, you wanna be proactive in this deal, right? So you contact the lender, the loan officer, the one who's handling this file. Remember that person that gave you that cup of coffee at the beginning, who gave the buyer that cup of coffee? You're gonna contact that person and say, where are we in the stage, man? Where are we? I'm getting excited. I can't wait to earn my commission. Lender tells you, we're at the appraisal process. The appraiser just submitted the appraisal report. So now you know where we're at. As a real estate agent, you now know exactly where we are in the process. So you say to the lender, so what's next? And the lender says calmly, they say, Mr. or Mrs. Real Estate Agent, the next step is very simple. We're gonna hand over all this information, this entire file, which consists of all of the buyer's qualifications and the house qualifications. We're gonna hand this whole package, this whole file over to the person that's gonna make the decision on whether we approve or deny the loan. And that person is, drum roll please, the underwriter. Now, the underwriter has a huge job. So when you know that this file is in the hands of the underwriter, you know it's now getting down to the nitty gritty. Because the underwriter is gonna be the one that says yes or no, or maybe if they fix a few things up in this file. So it's now in the hands of what I call Oz from the Wizard of Oz. Nobody ever sees this person, yet this person has all the power, all that magic to make people happy. So it's in the hands of the underwriter. Now the underwriter gets it, underwriter reviews it, they analyze it, they assess for risk. They're gonna assess the risk on this file. Not a big deal. And they hold on to it for a couple of days. And in those couple of days, what are you doing? And what is your buyer doing? Hell, what is the loan officer, the one that gave the cup of coffee, what is he doing? That triangle, what are we all doing? Yeah, we're all praying those two days, thinking, oh, I hope we get approved, right? We hope that, the, that they bless this file, right? Yeah. So, two days come, we get an answer from the underwriter, and the underwriter tells the entire team, boom, we're good to go. Simple as that. 
Next step after that, what happens? Loan documents are prepared. So when you as a real estate agent here, loan documents are ready to be signed by the buyer. Oh, that's a great, that's the beginning of the end. Your loan officer, the one that gave you the cup of coffee, that gave the buyer the cup of coffee, he's gonna contact you and contact the buyer and say, guess what? The loan documents are ready to be signed by the buyer. We need to make an appointment as soon as possible. Boom, that puts a big grin on my face. It puts a big grin on the buyer's face. Everybody wants to close this deal. So when you hear the word loan documents are ready to be signed, you know that's the beginning of the end of this deal. That's a good day. Got it? Fantastic. So buyer makes an appointment to go and uh, sign all of these loan documents, agreeing to the loan, committing themselves to the loan, and boom, they sign across the dotted line. Nice and simple. So what's next? Next is funding. Those loan documents are sent back to corporate headquarters typically, and they reviewed the loan documents, making sure everything was properly signed. All the T's were crossed, all the I's were dotted, bada beam, bada boom. They're satisfied with the loan documents being signed in front of a notary, nice. So the next stage is funding. What does that mean? It means the lender's gonna go ahead and fork over this million dollars to the escrow department or title company, whichever was used to facilitate this whole deal. Send over the million bucks on behalf of the buyer to give to the seller. So funding. We're just about there. So when you hear the word funding, you can see the finish line. You can probably touch it if you reach out. And last but not least, the greatest day on earth when it comes to a transaction, and that's recording. Now recording has nothing to do with the lender, but that's the official closing of the deal. That's publicly letting the entire world know there's a new owner for this house here on 1234 Main Street. It's recorded at the local county recorder's office, and that's letting everybody know somebody just bought this house over here with a new owner. So, as far as the lender's concerned, when you hear the words funding, lender says we wash our hands on this, our mission is accomplished, we've given over the money, it's over and out. That, ladies and gentlemen, is a process of a loan. I hope you now understand that when you contact the lender, say, hey, you're representing my buyer. Hey, lender, you're helping my buyer. Hey, lender, where are we in the process with my buyer? I'd like to know so the buyer can get excited and so I can get excited. Are we anywhere near the end? And if the lender says, well, we're just getting the appraisal ordered, you know it's the beginning of the deal. If they say we have loan documents in, you know it's what? Yeah, the beginning of the end. If you're it's funded, we're just about there. You could see it, you could smell it. Bottom line is, you now understand the loan process. And why is it important? Because at the end of the day, communication is key. All you have to do as a real estate agent is contact that loan officer, that lender, that person that gave you that cup of coffee and you buy the cup of coffee at the initial meeting, they're going to be your representative for this transaction and the loan. So, nothing wrong with contacting them as often as possible to understand where are we in the process. Hope this helps you out, huh? If you wanna know more about how this works, check out this video here. It's on the primary mortgage market. I guarantee you're gonna get tons out of it and we'll see you next week.